Another important military weapon in China has come out, and the independent research and development of the 100-ton stealthy unmanned surface vehicle will move towards the era of unmanned navy in the future. Let's take a closer look in this video. With the continuous development of military technology, unmanned equipment plays an increasingly important role on the battlefield. Modern warfare is increasingly inseparable from unmanned weapons, and China's research on unmanned weapons has always been at the forefront of the world. For example, some time ago, in the waters of Zhoushan City, Zhejiang Province, China, a domestic stealth unmanned vehicle came out with a high profile. This kind of unmanned vehicle is currently the largest of its kind in China, and its related technologies are sufficient to surpass similar products of the U.S. military. As soon as the news came out, the United States was very angry, because they was the only country in the world that had 100 tons military unmanned vehicles. The Americans thought they could monopolize this field, but they didn't expect China to create it too. And according to military experts, the related technology of this stealth unmanned vehicle is of great significance in both civilian and nuclear military fields. In the military, the stealthy unmanned surface vehicle can hunt and kill nuclear submarines in actual combat and can also perform combat tasks such as air defense reconnaissance, patrol, mine clearance, and anti-ship. It has various functions and has high promotion and application value. So, how advanced is China's stealth unmanned vehicle technology? What are the advantages compared with American unmanned vehicle? As early as the 21st century, the United States had exposed plans to use unmanned vehicles for combat, but the early unmanned vehicles can only be described as ships. There are only the simplest functions, which are not at the same level as the current unmanned ships. After more than 10 years of development, today's unmanned vehicles have developed to a new height. The United States once exposed four types of unmanned vehicles that can be used as miniature destroyers with various functions. Among them, HMS Haley is the most satisfactory unmanned vehicle for Americans, also known as the Sea Hunter, and its tonnage is as high as 100 tons. The Sea Hunter is mainly used to detect and track submarines, and can work independently for three consecutive months when performing offshore missions. It is also equipped with sonar, electro-optical sensors, and a long-range radar system. These configurations can perform active or passive searches, detect torpedoes, analyze threats, locate and track submarines, filter small targets, and more. According to the U.S. International Business Daily, the reason why the U.S. wants to develop unmanned vehicles is to seize command of the sea in the Asia-Pacific region. And in order to face threats from countries such as Russia and China, the U.S. military also plans to deploy anti-submarine unmanned vehicles that can continuously track. The U.S. military envisages using the Western Pacific as its main battlefield to carry out large-scale anti-submarine operations against the Chinese submarine force in an integrated operation. This can be said to be an important way for the U.S. military to maintain its command of the sea, and whether the war can be won or not depends on this. Therefore, the U.S. military has always attached great importance to the Asia-Pacific region in order to use anti-submarine capabilities to maintain its dominant position at sea. In addition to this, there is another reason, and that is the pressure brought by conscription. With this unmanned warship, the Americans can put it into service right away, even if no one is in the army. With the continuous development of China's science and technology, the weapons developed are becoming more and more advanced. 
There is also a saying in the world that the United States is responsible for the imagination and China is responsible for the realization. Although China started late in the research and development of unmanned vehicles, China's technology is also making continuous progress and has achieved outstanding results in this field. Just last year, another Chinese unmanned vehicle completed a three hours test voyage in the waters near Zhoshan. This trial voyage can be said to be very successful. The unmanned vehicle is currently the largest unmanned vehicle in China, and it is also the only stealth unmanned vehicle in China with a weight of 200 tons. And China's unmanned vehicle is not inferior to the American Sea Hunter in technology. In terms of performance, it can not only be stealthy, but also reduce noise, and has high airworthiness and comprehensive situational awareness. After equipped with the corresponding weapons and equipment, it is very suitable for performing tasks such as reconnaissance, air defense, anti-submarine, and anti-ship. This advanced unmanned vehicle can not only conduct coastal patrols, but also go out to sea with manned ships to perform ocean-going missions. In terms of weaponry, this unmanned vehicle is equipped with an 8-unit vertical launch system that can launch small missiles. At the same time, because it is equipped with a torpedo launch system, the unmanned vehicle can also actively attack enemy targets in naval battles. And there is also a drone landing pad at the stern of the unmanned vehicle. In this way, during combat, unmanned vehicles and drones can cooperate in operations, greatly improving China's maritime firepower. It can win the dominance of the sea for China and seize the opportunity. It is not difficult to see from the combat system equipment of unmanned vehicles that the unmanned vehicle developed by China already have comprehensive air defense, nuclear and anti-ship combat capabilities. In terms of combat effectiveness, this unmanned vehicle is no less powerful than a destroyer or even an attack ship. Due to its excellent performance and strong stealth, this unmanned vehicle can be deployed hundreds of miles away from the Chinese aircraft carrier fleet to serve as a sentinel for guarding. In special times, Unmanned vehicles can also be deployed in key ports and military strongholds to guard and detect the military situation of the enemy. Due to the characteristics of unmanned, in addition to combat use, unmanned vehicles can also replace manpower in some high-risk sea areas, expanding China's exploration capabilities in sea areas. In addition, the construction of Chinese unmanned vehicles uses its domestic technology and localized parts throughout the process. A number of technologies are the first in China, and the overall technology of the platform has reached the world's leading level. In the civilian field, this unmanned vehicle can also be used for anti-smuggling, disaster relief, and law enforcement. Small unmanned vehicles can take advantage of flexibility, full time, and quick response. At the same time, in some dangerous situations, unmanned vehicles can also effectively avoid casualties. The China National Defense Military Daily once pointed out that unmanned vehicles will subvert the future naval warfare model. And one of the important military applications of unmanned vehicles is the use of shark tactics, similar to the wolf pack tactics and shark tactics of submarines in World War II. The advantages of maritime operations are outstanding because zero casualties can greatly improve the determination to make decisions to fight bravely, be able to fight and fight quickly, and achieve the purpose of war at the lowest cost. Due to the inherent advantages of small size, fast speed, and good stealth performance, unmanned vehicles can take advantage of the advantages of concealed contact with enemies and sudden strikes in naval battles, catching opponents off guard. 
and military unmanned vehicles also have the advantages of low equipment cost, short production cycle, and rapid formation of scale-resistant combat capabilities. In modern naval warfare, traditional naval warfare aims at destruction and nuclear strikes. With the change of naval warfare thinking, damage and loss of warships' continuous combat capability are now the goal. Therefore, all countries tend to develop unmanned vehicle swarm technology to realize group-killing tactics. In the research of unmanned vehicles, the United States once organized 13 unmanned vehicles to conduct group technology experiments and found that they have powerful naval warfare power and have shocking nuclear subversive significance to traditional naval warfare. With the opening of intelligent and unmanned battlefields, breakthroughs in key technologies such as unmanned vehicles, multi-sensors, intelligent perception, overall design, system integration, and new materials will make Chinese unmanned vehicles have important uses in the future. The birth of China's new type of unmanned vehicle is also expected to become the leading force in overturning the rules of naval warfare. In the future, and traditional naval warfare ships will face major threats. After the unmanned vehicle is put into use by the Chinese Navy in the future, it will bring the overall combat capability of the Chinese Navy to a new level. In other words, there is no end to development, and China is now accelerating overall development. This acceleration can greatly shorten the technological gap between China and developed countries. In terms of the Navy, China is now accelerating to catch up in the field of manned ships. In the future unmanned equipment will also be the same and eventually achieve a comprehensive catch-up. In the field of unmanned ships, we believe that China is likely to lead the world in the future. In this regard, the Chinese are still very confident, because China's manufacturing capacity has long been the number one in the world. Once the future unmanned ship technology can develop and mature, it will not be a problem to build in large quantities. Look at the speed at which China's warships are being built today, and many Chinese netizens describe them as pouring dumplings into the pot. Then, in the future, if these production capacities are invested in the construction of unmanned ships, many unmanned ships can be owned in a short period of time, and even larger unmanned ship carriers may appear in the future. In this case, the entire Chinese Navy will show a combination of manned and unmanned ships in terms of ship composition, and it is not even ruled out that China's naval ships will be completely unmanned in a few years. This possibility is very high, because in the future, unmanned ships can fully meet the needs in performing tasks, and at the same time, there is no need to worry about casualties. Therefore, the development prospects of unmanned ships and unmanned equipment are very broad. We believe that the Chinese Navy will develop better and better in the field of unmanned ships in the future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.